Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm not on camera here. There we go. That's better. I'm SJM. Welcome back to some more Desertopolis. Today we're going to be doing some infrastructure work and uh, just working away on the base and uh, some quality of life stuff. Uh, you can see here I have my first 10, 10, 10 diamond chicken. So I'm just going to get a second one before uh, I put them on the nest there, but I should be close on the emerald ones here as well. Just the way I'm doing it here, I'm not in any rush to do it, so I just, once I've made it to 876 and 786. Uh, this one, I guess. And uh, I just dispatch of them inhumanely here, and sometimes we get the drops out of them. So been slowly building up on a little bit of some of those resources here. So we're up to 27 diamonds, 14 emeralds which is perfect. We should be able to put those to good use here today. And been stocking up my raw chicken over here because we've got a big fight coming up in our, well, not too distant future, but it's not coming up immediately here anyways. As you can see, I've been hashing around an idea for my the floor of my base. Uh, I definitely don't like the gray color that I was doing over here, but I kind of do like the sandstone highlights. So maybe I'll keep that, but maybe we'll just change that over to some white concrete or some, maybe I'll go experiment with some of the colored terracotta from the, from the eroded badlands over there. I've yet to make that final decision just yet. Uh, but... On to the topic at hand for today. We are going to look at getting, well, not getting graphite dust because I've already got lots of that, but I've been just smelting it up, making it, smelting it up, and stockpiling it for when we uh, go to make our reactor. So I've got a good amount to get started here. We could probably almost make a reactor now. I didn't, haven't crunched those numbers just yet, but. Um, just I'm working away slowly on it. And speaking of which, I should probably go add in some more powdered coal because this is getting up to close to three now. So we just do that. This guy is done, so we can do that. And get him another stack of seeds. And keep the coal pouring in for making the graphite. And side milk. Throw another stack in there and keep working on iron too while we're at it. Because this the needs for that never go away. So the um, three stacks plus 21, was it? Yeah, I had three stacks plus 21 silicon. So I used basically two full stacks of silicon, making up the basic, all the processors that we're gonna need for today to set up the base refined storage system. So we're gonna need the controller, the crafting grid, the disk drive and then a disk to put all of the information on and I do never like making the lower size storage disks unless it's like in the kind of pack where you're gated off and you can't get to the top tier right away or you for some reason you want to get this a lot earlier than you have the resources to go for it but I've looked at it and figured hey we've got tons of resources so there's no reason not to make the top size storage disks so I think I need some extra bits and bobs that I didn't fully prepare for before I hit the record button so 
We're going to need some glass. We're going to need oh, redstone is what I went in here for originally. I'm getting real low on redstone, but um, I think I mentioned I went and broke up that uh, second pyramid over by the spawn. So that's where I got a few blocks there. Then I've also been running some blocks through or some um, mineral chunks through the eroding water which is getting us redstone there as well, because for now I'm just, uh, I'm not doing any more gold. Like 200 gold ingots was, was okay. It's nothing spectacular, but when I need some more, I was basically just waiting to get a better mesh because I don't want to keep spamming iron meshes in there. It's got a lower chance on the chance based things. It's got lower durability, so you've got to change it more often. Once we've got diamonds coming in at a steady rate, then we'll be able to spend them in there and also get the upgrades so that we're not breaking the mesh as much too. All right, enough of rambling. Let's just jump into it. This is gonna go pretty quickly, so don't think this should take too long whatsoever. I'm gonna need a chest. I'm gonna need a crafting table. I'm going to need a few more pieces of silicon. Actually, I'm probably going to need all of this silicon now that I think about it. I might not have enough, too. So I forgot about making the 1K storage parts all require a whole bunch of silicon. 36, I calculated. So no, we should have, we should be good should be good All right so we will jump on into it so each of these parts takes a, a machine casing so we're going to need three of these guys Oh, it needs regular stone, not cobblestone. Gotcha. There we go. We're going to need three of these machine casings. Now our controller should all fall into place just like that. The crafting grid. Oh, I forgot about the wooden parts here. Crafting grid, we're going to need a regular grid. And oh, forgot about the construction core, which we need a mineral chunk. And the destruction core, which we need another quartz. So one of those and one of those. The construction core. Destruction core. That gets us our grid. And then we want definitely want to upgrade from the grid to the crafting grid. And you'll see why when we get this all put down. If you know, you know. Disk drive. And now for the big craft is the storage disk. So 164k storage disk. Needs a 64K storage part, which is three 16Ks. Each 16K is three 4Ks. Each 4K is three 1Ks. So you can see why you get, you get more bang for your buck, the higher tier part that you make for the storage, right? Because three 1Ks give you 4K of storage. So essentially you're getting uh, 12, yeah, you're going from like, you're making 12 1Ks to make one, I always forget, I always get this math wrong, so I'm not going to try doing it on camera on the fly because I didn't figure it out beforehand. So anyways, we just need to go down this. Do, do, do. Did I not consider this Quartz enriched iron. 
36, 8, no, 9. 9 more quartz enriched iron. No problem. We need this, we need this, and we need quartz. I'll just make 20, that's fine. And I don't have enough glass. All right. I was not fully prepared. Hopefully we can speed that up and make this process a little bit quicker. to a 4k part. Nope, I need six more of these 1k's, right? Three of those only makes one 16k. totally not prepared for this so you guys get to get off easy while I do here and finish my prep. <laughs> right, I think I got it now so we got the 9 4k. I've, I've made the proper amount of no I might have screwed up on the processors now we'll see. I had a few extra processors so I ended up making two extra 1k parts so Obviously, my math is not my strong suit today, that's for sure. Uh, 16 Ks. Three 16 Ks. Makes a 64 K. And you just put that into the housing. You can make a housing just like that and then craft them aside from each other if you like, but not a big prop, not a big deal one way or the other. And the other thing we're going to need is a source of power. So thankfully we've got a, the tier 2 energetic, like the, the second stage of the photovoltaic uh, solar panel, so that shouldn't be a big problem there. So we're going to have the... Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to consider. Now I'm going to make the middle of the base this next square down. One thing about this black concrete, you can't tell what's going on with it at all. Oh yes, these are all odd, so that's why it looks strange. Never mind me. Never mind me. And that cannot accept energy directly. Okay, good to know. that there that's what we like to see 
I'm going to put our disk drive down and throw our disk in. And we can throw our crafting grid down on top, and there we go. We now have a working inventory system. So I can throw those in there. And all this odds and sods stuff, I can get everything put away, and I don't have to worry about it. Right now, my system is using 5 FE per tick, so we're not too worried about that, but we will be expanding um, the refined storage capabilities, which is going to take up a lot more power later, but we'll have better power later anyways. Um, I'll just have to move all of that power-dependent stuff over here somewhere, or maybe run some piping underground and throw it up against this wall. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with that yet. Uh, but the other thing I can do here is break that for now. I've got an extra advanced processor and an extra ender pearl because there is a wireless crafting grid. I am missing six quartz enriched iron. I'm missing one quartz enriched iron. Five it is. And this should work in this charger. No. So I'm going to have to find a way to get power into it now. <laughs> Oh, and I need the transmitter. I totally forgot about that, too. The transmitter is one more machine casing, another ender pearl, another advanced processor, and six more quartz enriched iron. But I can't even get power into it with my current technology state. I thought I could throw it into this guy here. I swear I could, but... I guess that's a no. All right, said. So good thing I did put all of my stuff into there because otherwise it would be locked away and I wouldn't be able to get to it. Lesson learned directly on camera. It's not an SJM video unless we derp up big time, right? That guy away. I just need to collect my thoughts. I thought this was going to go so well. Oh well, we just, we do have to get the transmitter and then I need to... I don't think the reactor has anything to charge. But we could look here. Pneumaticraft. That's Pneumaticraft. Oh, wait. I'm on the... So four chargers, four ME storage bus and ME storage. Oh, that's just, it'll be the same stuff as what the current one is, so that doesn't work. One void chassis and eight copper alloy ingots. Copper alloy is copper and silicon. All right. 
you folks go on about your day, uh, get a cup of coffee, do whatever. And I'm going to get this wired charger or wireless crafting station working. So it turns out I needed some more grains of infinity. So let's try this uh, flint in the offhand and see how our flint doesn't break. when we use the obsidian. So I just put it someplace where I'm not going to worry about breaking it right now. And we've got, you know, 30 diamonds right now. So if I really wanted to break it, I could go ahead and do that. But just for, uh, just for my own sanity's sake, I did not do that. So back to my crafting journey here. All right. I think this is the last piece we need, but I might need a piece of the refined storage cabling for this to work, but I've got the wireless crafting grid. I did test it, so this Ender I.O. wired charger was the thing that we needed. Can't shift. Oh, it does shift click in there. That's fine. We'll get that guy crafted up or charged up. We'll get the... Oh, I needed eight more of those quartz-enriched iron. Wait. Where did I use up all my regular iron? Maybe I put it away. I need some machine casing. Wireless transmitter. Wireless crafting grid. Got a little bit of power left in her. There we go. Now it's back working. Yes, now I have wireless capabilities. Now this guy has a range of 16 blocks by default, but we can put some range upgrades into it. If we want, so it's gonna take some more ender pearls, some more quartz enriched iron, another improved processor, more quartz enriched iron. So we could do up to three of those, and I think three of those will get us up to, like, I think they're 16 each, so that'll give us 64. Depending on how the config is set up, I guess, but we'll, we'll put it together and figure it out between episodes. I won't do any more of this here today, but this is going to be using a lot more power. We're up to nine now because the wires, wireless transmitter is using more uh, power on us. Let's do this and make sure that we've got some sunshine. Although that's still not, doesn't this still doesn't work until it's almost midday, but that's fine. That's, we'll offset it in the long term. And there's lots of power in there, half a million. Uh, with these energy batteries, you can craft them together and make bigger batteries if you want. So if you craft two of these energy batteries and you put them together, you can get a two million uh, FE battery. I don't think that's necessary right now, but uh, just for if you're looking for larger storage, uh, further down the line, then that's one way you can do it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to need to store a lot of power. We're going to need to generate a lot of power at one time. Uh, I guess, yeah, the last thing that we wanted to look at getting was getting these speed upgrades so that we could speed up getting the um, pressure 
for our machine here for doing some of the larger crafts. Um, it would be more important if I had gone the route of taking this, these liquids here and uh, compressing them into the coal blocks and doing the diamonds that way, but I've settled on actually just doing my diamonds through the chickens. I think that's going to be just fine. Um, we, I've got a trick for producing seeds a lot faster, so we'll get to that there a little while down the road. But yeah, I've got two 10, 10, 10 diamond chickens now, so I can start producing diamonds whenever I want. And I got just, yeah, two more breeding of the emeralds, and we'll be up there on those guys as well. Uh, but for now, they wanted to look at the speed upgrades. So the speed upgrades, uh, we've got two hiccups here. The first was the lubricant, which isn't a huge, huge deal. Because we can make it through Pneumatocraft. We just have to take the diesel that we're producing in the oil refinery and put it through this thermopneumatic processing plant with the redstone dust, a little bit of heat. And um, it does say this processing plant takes um, uh, air pressure as well. So I'm not sure if it takes pressure or not to do that process. Uh, the other option that we have is we can just request it through an Amadron tablet um, with uh, five relic scraps per bucket so that each craft would cost me five relic scraps to get speed upgrades here. The other hiccup is sugar. So sugar obviously coming from sugarcane. We don't have any way to get sugarcane naturally. Um, of course, being in a desert world there's no rivers so no place for any of this to grow i didn't find any in the two pyramids i went down into so the other options uh, we have is i did find some honey bottles when i was in the pyramids though so this is a kind of a stop gap we could get the first couple with the eight or so bottles that i got how many bottles did i get Now that I'm looking for them, I won't be able to see them. 12. So that'd get me about 60, 60 plus, right? Because in the squeezer, in the mechanical squeezer, which I've made, you get a 75% chance of getting a sixth. So um, this is the mechanical squeezer there. It's just a lot better than the manual squeezer. You get better returns and you don't have to jump on anything to uh for your squeezing needs there right so uh, definitely suggest getting the mechanical squeezer as soon as you've got access to a couple of extra diamonds um, but yes for the uh, sugar the to get sugar cane we can sp uh, spawn a villager using the spawner block. So with the villager spawn egg, we just need a block of emerald underneath it, and then we use an emerald on it, and that will give us a villager. And then just wherever you set that up, you might wanna have a way to trap him right away. So maybe spawn him inside a little area already with, um, and you'll need a farmer to get the trade for the sugar cane, I believe. No, it's a cartographer. And I haven't seen any wandering traders. So if we get a cartographer, for that you'll just need a cartography table, which is a couple of paper. Found There's plenty of paper in the pyramids. You just have to find the library area and you can get at least a half a stack from each of the libraries there. I think I've got a stack plus 17 or so paper from the two that I went through. So paper was not a problem. But yes, now that we have access to emeralds, we can do that. 
to get sugarcane to get a renewable source of um, sugar to do not only speed upgrades for the pneumaticraft stuff because just about everything you're going to want speed upgrades in um, but also when we go to refine storage and get speed upgrades there we're going to need it there so definitely summoning one of those um, villagers making a cartographer out of them unless you happen to find a cartographer in one of the villages while you're wandering around but that's a lot of work because you'd have to put them in a rowboat and row them back to your base just the uh, the spawning method and just you know holding out until you get to this part in the pack is probably uh, an easier way to go anyways so I'm going to be grabbing this charging station and we'll be looking at doing the Amadron in the next um, episode. I do need to get some of this plastic sheets, which is also done in the thermonomatic processing plant. Hold on. I'm going to show these good people how to do this. So the in-world solidifying of the molten plastic, you just need to use your LPG in the thermonomatic processing plant with some coal. And then you'll get for every, so you'll get 10 plastic sheets out of 10 coal and one bucket of LPG. And I'm just, I've just put on, put up some of these um, larger tanks over here just to have a buffer and only running this system when this gets full and that gets full, just because uh, we are burning actual real coal down there. Uh, might be worth um, at this point, now that I have the infrastructure, to get myself another um, Ender IO smelting thing and like just another one of the cheap um, solar panels. And that way I wouldn't have to worry about um, using coal and that all the time and running out. Because I, you know, when, when this stopped the last time I had run out of coal and I was stuck with my two blocks of iron sitting in that point there. It wasn't backed up at all at that point, so I kind of got lucky in that regard. But um, we've got a, a fair decent backlog of these. So if I need coal in an emergency, I've definitely got this around. If I need to make some of the um, lubricant for speed upgrades, if I need to make um, the plastic, I've got the LPG hanging around. So this is just good to have as a just working in the background. No rush to do any of it for right now, but you know, have some of these. Maybe even later we could look at because um, these these two are producing a little bit faster. And just having um, a void, a liquid void, a fluid void trash can over there to uh, make sure that these fill up evenly because we might be using the LPG and we might be using the diesel, um, but for right now we don't really have uses for the kerosene and the gasoline. Although I guess technically you can um, put diesel into the ther thermo pneumatic processing plant and that will get you kerosene. If you put kerosene in it, that will get you gasoline. If you put gasoline in it, that will get you LPG. So you can also downcraft, um, basically turn the heavier um, byproducts into the lighter byproducts using this machine over there. So it might be, if you if you really want to get creative you could make a few of these and do and have access to just up crafting to um, the LPG for doing the what was the LPG for again the LPG was the plastic wasn't it Yes, and you get so much plastic per bucket of LPG, probably not worth doing that, to be honest, I guess. 
All right, that is the SJM ramble for this episode. You know, it's the end of the episode when I just drone on and on and on about nothing in particular. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate you all for checking it out, and we will see you in the next one.